Hello, Jason here, and in this video I'm going to show you a really simple way to calculate the size of the hole needed for your soak away crates. So, the first thing we need to work out is how many litres is going to be discharged into the cavity that the soak away crates will make over a 24 hour period. So, for this example, let's say that the total amount of liquid that's going to be discharged into the soak away hole is a thousand liters. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you now have to work out the contingency. What's the contingency? Well, basically, you have to account for rainfall and global warming. So it's a very simple calculation, right? Contingency is basically half the amount of liters that's going to be discharged into the cavity over a 24 hour period. So in this case, the contingency right, would be 500 liters. So if I put contingency there, contingency. So there you go. Those are basically the two figures that you have to deal with. All right, so now we just add the two up. So a thousand liters plus 500 liters gives us the total of, the grand total of 1500 liters. So that is the figure that building control will be looking for if you submit your plans to building control. So what we do now is we convert the 1500 liters that's been produced every 24 hours into cubic meters. All right, so 1500 liters is basically the same as 1.5 cubic meters. Okay, so now that's it. That's basically the calculation. And this is the figure right here that we're interested in. Now, as you know, each soak away crate basically can hold 200 liters. So we need soak away crates, right? That equals or is more, right? Than the 1.5 cubic meters that's going to be produced in a 24 hour period. So we've got 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000, two, four, six. So that works out to eight soak away crates. So now we've worked out the number of soak away crates needed, we can now work out the size of the hole. So once you've worked out how many soak away crates you need, the rest is really easy, right? So we need eight crates and let's say we're just gonna put them in a single layer. So that basically would be four. So you'd have one, two, three, four on four. All right, so you basically have four wide and two long, right? So working out that out, the size of the hole, each of these crates is half a meter, right? In, in width, so that would be two meters, two meters wide. And it would be one, two, two meters long. So there you go. And the depth of the hole, well, the crates, as you know, are 400 meters deep. So the depth would be 400 mil. And then obviously you'd obviously, um, you know, take into consideration soil on top of that. So let's say you put a hundred mil of soil because these soak away crates, they can withstand what, up to six ton plus in weight. So basically that's a really easy calculation to work out the size of not only how many soak away crates you need, but also the size of the hole that you're gonna put the soak away crates in.